Thank you. Don't, don't, take, don't take off. We have one guy with a card. So, Bob, Bob Brewer, do you want to come speak to this okay. item? Uh, Cassandra? Yes, sir. Bob's a great guy, but we may need to put the timer on him for three minutes. I was going to send you the Gideon instructions for East Texas uh, on their experience for yesterday. So it is a little bit complicated, but doable, and it takes about an hour. So anyway, my questions are, uh, how many tests were administered per new case reported on each reporting period? What are the per capita deaths uh, what per capita deaths do we have this year versus 2018 and 2019? So that's for last year, 2020. Same question for the flu. Where have masks shown to be effective? Are mask laws written in accordance with Article 1, Section 1, in our Republican guarantee in Article 4, Section 4? How many do you, people do you know who've been arrested for not wearing a mask? Do mask laws comply with the second sentence of U.S. law? And that's the God-given unalienable rights to protect our lives the way we feel they need to be protected. Uh, are masks harmful to unhealthy people? What percentage of people wear a mask directly? As an atmospheric chemist, I've worked in atmospheres that were deadly if you had a leaking mask. And when I walk around and I see people with masks with holes in the side and shooting up the top and out their nose or off their face, you know, it just seems like, a, you know, an impossible task. Also, the, what size is a coronavirus versus an influenza virus? I'm pretty sure that the influenza is considerably larger than a coronavirus. So why are we trying to catch the little guys before we catch the big ones with a death rate that's comparable to COVID? So anyway, on the vaccines, have pharma liability exemptions been removed for these new vaccines? In referencing the Great Barrier, uh, Barrington Declaration, have more people died as a result of lockdowns as to COVID, the Jay Batteria and the Oxford doctors and all that, and also our Scott Atlas. I think in June we passed that number, lockdowns surpassed COVID deaths like in June. Why don't we utilize the SARS-1 vaccine, which is 78% similar to the one we have now that was recommended by Dr. Fauci in 2005. And uh, who decides the protocols for COVID treatment in our local hospitals? It's, and who developed that protocol? And who funded that protocol? So I think there's a lot of questions that need to be answered. And I know I've asked about how many tests have been administered more than a half dozen times, and I haven't gotten an answer. Bob, I gotta ask you, why, Commissioner's uh, Court, you never go over the